Hello everyone, today I will be reacting to my first ever full video. I don't really know if I want to do this, but you know, I mean, a lot of YouTubers do it, so I thought, why not? So, let's just get right into it. And before we get right into it, I'm just going to say, this video is a little bit GP sounding, I guess, so just be warned. But anyway, let's start the video. My old intro. Wow, it's like oversaturated too. Not even my own footage either. Just a little disclaimer before we get into the video. This video is made for entertainment purposes and is not made to scare you from going on roller coasters. You are not going to die on a roller coaster just because you're scared. That's fish tank noises and in the background. I had a really bad microphone at the time. Then die on a roller coaster. Dying on a roller coaster is a 1 in 750 million chance. That's extremely rare. Starting out at number 5 is Leap the Dips. Leap the Dips is the only one on this list that is still open today. It is the oldest coaster still in operation. This 1902 figure 8 coaster uses the side friction wheels, which means that there is nothing keeping the car. So the title is Top 5 Craziest Wooden Roller Coasters, Some Deadly. If that doesn't scream GP, I don't know what does. And I just put random ones on here just because I thought they looked scary or something about them. Something stupid, like I thought this was unsafe. But obviously it's safe. So let's keep watching. Are on the track. That is why the max vertical angle is 25 degrees. If it was any more than 45 degrees, the car would fall right off the track. That wouldn't happen. Number four, the Rattler. The this Rattler. This now arm seed RCCA coaster is known to be very rough and unenjoyable. When Fiesta Texas opened in 1992, they were trying to break the height record for the tallest wooden coaster, which was Mean Street. Mean Street opened in 1991. To top Mean Street, they I made know the already there. rough first drop even taller and steeper which led to major jackhammering. If they chose a different manufacturer, it could have come out great and might have not even needed the iBox track. You can hear the transition of my bad microphone and like without the audio in there. Number three, Big Dipper. This coaster in England holds a record, and it's not a good record. It holds a record of most deaths on a roller coaster. I don't actually One know if that's true. The brakeman was on the train and ready for another ride. When the train got to the top of the lift, the brakeman leaned against the brakes, causing it to roll back. When they got to the bottom of the lift, hill, the trains derailed due to a tight curve. The back train flipped off the track and was followed by other trains stacking on top of it. This could never happen now because all coasters are required to have an anti-rollback system. An anti-rollback system keeps it from obviously rolling back and it is that chain that is on every lift hill and that's what makes the clicking it's not noise. the chain i mean it is what makes the clicking noise but it's not the chain number two son of beast also manufactured by rcca this wooden one thing i want to say is i was almost going to put mind blow on this just because i had like it has an inversion which would have been like so GP because I thought that wooden roller coasters with inversions were just unsafe. But anyway, let's just get back into the video. Wooden hyper coaster standing at a striking 218 feet had many flaws from jagged track pieces to not enough supports. But not only that, it had a vertical loop, which is known to pull 4.5 G's, which is kind of a lot for a wooden coaster. That's a lot. It all went down on July 9th, 2006. When one of the trains was passing by a huge, drawn-out, horrible, rough helix, and the track supports under it half collapsed. When the second train passed, I don't through, think that quite happened. Even more. And when that train I don't know. I'm not station, very informed on Son of Beast. The noticed that the people in train two had minor injuries, so the ride operator stopped the third train when it was ascending the lift hill before it could go through and lead to an even worse jolt. 
I've never gotten to ride it, but I heard it was one of the roughest coasters out there. Number one, Flip Flap Railway. This one actually Extreme is crazy. Crazy roller coaster from 1895 featured a 25 foot so tall weird. vertical loop on a wooden coaster in 1895. The loop was so small that it was known to pull 12 G's. Okay, now that actually is insane. Like, I don't know if people like died on this thing, not to sound GP or anything, but 12 G's is completely insane. If you don't know what G forces are. Then I'll just tell you that that's a lot because a typical human is only able to withstand 90s. That makes this extreme loop very deadly. Okay. So, in conclusion, that was pretty terrible. And I don't think I ever want to watch that ever again. That, I'm not going to delete it, but I just don't have any interest in watching that because that was really bad. So comment down below if you want to see more reactions to old videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.